Okay, so, you know, five weeks ago, we began a series on the self-confidence formula, which is a series of statements that I have memorized and some of you have memorized and that I repeat daily. It's an idea taught by Napoleon Hill who wrote the book Think and Grow Rich. In this book, he shares what he learned from Andrew Carnegie, the richest man and biggest philanthropist in America at that time. And he also did studied uh, for 20 years many, many individuals who had amassed personal fortunes. And that was how he wrote that book. Now, Napoleon Hill also wrote The Law of Success in 16 Lessons. It's a 1,600-page book. And lesson three was on self-confidence, where he proposed his five-step formula to develop self-confidence, what we know as the self-confidence formula. In the last four weeks, I discussed the first four steps. Today, let's learn about the fifth step, the fifth paragraph of the self-confidence formula. So I've uh, copied out that paragraph uh, in the introduction to this today's talk. You can refer to it for those of you who haven't learned it. Okay. Let me read it to you, or let me state it to you. Fifth, I fully realize that no wealth or position can long endure unless built upon truth and justice. Therefore, I engage in no transaction which does not benefit all whom it affects. I succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use and the cooperation of other people. I induce others to serve me because of my willingness to serve others. I eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness and cynicism by developing love for all humanity. Because I know that a negative attitude toward others can never bring me success. I cause others to believe in me because I believe in them and in myself. You know, when I read that, I say to myself, finally, you know, after the first four steps, we have more powerful reminders of cause and effect. Okay. What you get when you do certain things. Do this and this will happen. I promise. Let's look at the first phrase. I fully realize that no wealth or position can long endure. What we are looking for is long-term, enduring results results that are resilient an impact that is indefinite or infinite and money that multiplies on and on not some short-term thing we're talking about a giant redwood we're talking about that 90 foot chinese bamboo you know where for two, four to five years you see nothing then in six weeks it, it grows to 90 feet we're talking about a, a deep and dedicated networking organization that we will build and that is why it requires so much effort because we are building a solid foundation that will support this continual massive growth okay so let's look at the next phrase unless built upon truth and justice okay, it's very clear this is how you behave truth and justice you want freedom. We all want freedom, isn't it? This business is about freedom. Well, the truth will set you free. What will set you free? The truth will set you free. Be just and fair. Okay, Be just and fair. I know there are opportunities to cut corners. The customer doesn't know as much as you, but that's who I am. It's not who they are. It's who I am. I'm a just and fair person. Okay. So this is not just about doing just and fair things it's about being just and fair and it's the same principle with giving you know in the bible in luke chapter 6 verse 38 it says give and it will be given to you good measure pressed down shaken together running over will be put into your lap for with the measure you use it will be measured to you that's why we want to be just and fair same principle do these things and you will get back many more times in return. And that, by the way, is, is the verse that I used to share at NTC, our guest event. 
And also remember the law of attraction. You don't prospect people you like, you prospect people like you. What kind of people do you want? You want people who operate with truth and with justice. Okay. And that's a reason why we encourage you, you know, in, uh, or we are encouraged actually in this by, by, by New Skin, under promise and over deliver. Under promise, over deliver. Okay. The next uh, phrase is, therefore, I engage in no transaction which does not benefit all whom it affects. Therefore, I engage in no transaction which does not benefit all whom it affects. Okay. Now, you know, you don't need Napoleon Hill, Hill, Hill to tell you this. All of you have grown up knowing that this is the golden rule. Do to others as you want them to do to you. Do to others as you want them to do to you. This is habit five. Think win-win, isn't it? This is the mindset of always wanting to add value, to leave the situation better. This is the attitude of servant leadership. I'm serving you. How can I serve you? How can I benefit you? Okay, not benefit me. And in multi-level marketing, when we do something that benefits all whom it affects, we are able to multiply our efforts so much more. When I think of that, I, you know, I look at Pat and Margaret Sung. They're, they're 74 years old. They are, they've made, I'm told, more than 80 million US dollars from this business. But they're still doing this series of interviews. When they interview one person, just them and one person, that one interview has so many views. And in our case, it's reaching all the way down and beyond me. I'm the G8. They don't earn from me. But the impact is such that it's gone down to the G8. And, you know, and I've got six generations below me. And it's just multiplying the effect when you want to benefit people. Okay. So don't engage in no transaction which does not benefit all whom it affects. As a salesperson, actually this is one of my most used checks. This check, am I, is this transaction, transaction benefiting the person I'm talking to? Okay, this is uh, one of my most used checks, especially at month end when I'm eager, when I'm desperate to meet my goals or targets. I need to make sure that it's benefiting the person. You know the expression, by hook or by crook? No, you get there by hook or by crook. It's an idiom that says, you know, get it done by any means possible. And the unfortunate thing is that word crook there, okay? The word crook actually refers to a shepherd's staff that has got a rounded neck. That's what a crook is. It does not mean do it by crooked illegal means, okay? That's not permission to do it by crooked illegal means. Okay. Uh, next, this phrase, I succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use and the cooperation of other people. I succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use and the cooperation of other people. I just love this part. This is the magic of teamwork. And you know, last weekend, we just had a classic example of that. Let me share with you. On Saturday night, okay, or was it Friday night? No, it was Friday night. Okay, on Friday night, Gail and three other men started a 100-mile challenge to complete 161 kilometers within 32 hours. They started at 7.40 p.m. At 55 km, there were only three of them. Okay, one person had dropped out. And by 106 km, there was just Gail and her colleague uh, who was following her on a bicycle. So I realized that situation. I said, how is she going to complete, you know, the other 50 over kilometers on her own when she's completely, you know, well, she's exhausted. So I quickly organized the family to run in the relay with her. So Daniel and Zuri, uh, our dog, ran 13 kilometers. And Jackie took over and was planning to run 10 kilometers. And then the last 18 kilometers was to be run by, uh, by Emily, her sister-in-law. Okay. You know, Gail was fueled by overdrive. She was supported with a with, with, with the car we, we had fresh clothes she has food you know and that's why she did the incredible she finished 
161 kilometers within 28 hours without having slept for you know, nearly uh, over 40 hours. This is attracting to myself the forces I wish to use and the cooperation of other people because she she's not the kind of person who uh, who arranges all these things to make sure it will work. I didn't even, in fact, I didn't even know about this run until a week before. Okay, so that's a real a classic example. Okay, and this is why highly effective people practice habits four, five, and six in order to have public victories, victories out there in the world. Habit four is think win-win. Habit five is seek first to understand, then to be understood. Habit six is to synergize. Okay. When we practice these habits, the law of attraction comes in. Okay. Remember the in the success mantra, success is equal to intention plus action plus grace. That's the grace part. Okay. That we in fact that the cooperation of other people attracting to my fact self the forces I wish to use okay now what is cooperation cooperation is I will use some C words collaboration it's about combined effort it's about commitment from the people who support you it's about community and I love that community part you know when I go for a one week or maybe it's a two week mountain trip the part I love best is the journey then the holiday with people it's just being with the people and that is the fun part so remember Bob said, I'll, I'll outline Bob how, he said, I came for the immunity, I signed on for the annuity, and I stayed for the community. It is the community, the cooperation of other people that makes life so, so much fun and so much meaningful. And that's what gets us the results that we get. So we can help more people. Okay, so um, I want to stop here, okay, uh, because the next one, the next phrase is, I induce others to serve me because of my willingness to serve others. This is taking cooperation to a whole new level, service, and I want to spend more time next week, you know, to continue with this and the rest of the fifth step of the self-confidence formula.